Hello everybody, in today's video we're talking about gas fees. This is probably a term you've heard of before, but you might not have had much context of how gas fees are calculated or why they matter in the first place. This video will fill in on these gaps, allowing you to better understand an important part of the crypto asset space. Let's begin. So what are gas fees? Gas fees are a fundamental component of various blockchains, representing the transaction costs that users incur to perform operations, ranging from simple asset transfers to complicated interactions with smart contracts. These fees can serve as compensation to miners to play a crucial role in maintaining and securing their respective blockchains, or to ensure that the validators are paid for their efforts in processing transactions. Depends on the specifics of the particular blockchain. Today, there's some projects in which a portion of the gas fees is rewarded to those staking their assets as part of transaction validation. This shift not only aligns with traditional financial transaction fees, but also incentivizes validators by compensating them for using their resources to uphold network integrity. Cost of gas fees fluctuates based off network activity. Fees increase during times of congestion as the demand for transaction processing goes up and decrease when activity is low. This system of variable fees helps to manage network load, ensuring that validators are adequately rewarded while maintaining efficient network performance. How are gas fees calculated? Using two principal factors, gas limit and the gas price. The limit captures the maximum amount of computational effort someone thinks a validator will extend for a transaction, acting as a cap on the total allowable work. Gas price is the cost per unit of this work. The overall cost of a transaction is determined by multiplying gas limit by gas price. Price. Users can opt to leave tips with their transactions, which are sums added on top of the gas price. Offering a tip can lead to quicker processing times by incentivizing a validator to prioritize your transaction. On the flip side, setting a lower gas limit can reduce the priority of a transaction within the network's queue, potentially slowing down its execution. This system allows users to balance cost against transaction urgency, tailoring fees to their specific needs and circumstances. On core chain, gas fees work pretty much as they do elsewhere, but it's worth noting that it plays a role in various core specific projects. Projects. If you're wanting to stake Bitcoin, for example, make sure you have enough gas fees to cover the cost of the transaction. Why are gas fees important? Gas fees are a crucial mechanism on many blockchains, serving the twin purpose of motivating validators to engage in the validation process of the network and securing the network through staking. These fees ensure that validators are paid, without which there wouldn't be much incentive for them to allocate their computing power to validate these transactions. Additionally, gas fees act as a deterrent against network spam by imposing a cost on every transaction and smart contract execution, thus discouraging malicious actors from flooding the network. You might be wondering, can I avoid high gas fees? To minimize high gas fees, users have several viable strategies. You can choose to transact during off-peak times when there's less network congestion. Additionally, using decentralized exchanges to swap tokens can be more cost-effective than using centralized exchanges. Users can also simplify their transactions to reduce costs, which help in many circumstances. All right, you should have a much better understanding of gas fees, how they work, and the role they play in the blockchain ecosystem. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed, and if you like this type of content, please consider subscribing. See you all in the next video.